Okay, so we've been working all day at the Intermot show on at the NOC stand and actually it's part of what we're doing here. We wanted just to show you guys a couple of the really key launches and this, it has to be said, is pretty much the most important launch at this show, which is a GS1250. It's the biggest bike in the UK. It's probably the biggest bike in Europe. I'd say so. Yeah, yeah you'd agree, you're not, Mark, you're not, right? You're not far off. It's the best selling motorcycle in the UK along with the Adventure, so the bigger tank variant of this bike. And it's been probably that way for a number of years now. Um, so it's a big deal for BMW uh, and you know a big deal for the UK market. Um, You've owned one of these, Mark, yeah. so you can kind of talk a little bit personally about this I'm bike, supposed to be the expert, so <laughs> yeah. we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so I had the previous edition of that, the, the 1200. Uh, it was the rally spec bike, so it had the blue frame and all the toys. It was a fantastic bit of kit, and um, it's going to be pretty difficult for me to be impartial about this, in fairness. Right, okay. Uh, Why? Because you love it. I love the, the you know, one you know, that you I mean, had. Look, the, the, th the thing for me when I'm, when I'm uh, picking a new motorcycle is that I'm always trying to find a bike that ticks all the boxes. It's the, it's the age old quest for a biker. It's impossible to do, but in fairness, BMW probably come closest with this bike. Um, it does, it's all things to all men. Yeah. You know, it, it, it will go off road. You can tour on it for hour after hour after hour. Um, you can you See, can I always think it. I always think about this bike as a bit of like it's just a mile muncher and most of the people I know it, you know they're not taking it off road they're no, riding right. it in, no you're absolutely in, right and I, th I think you know 95 percent of people who, who, who own and buy run one of these they're never going to take it off road the most they'll off road it is ride it up a curb perhaps <laughs> um but it will you know let, make no mistake this is a hugely capable motorcycle oh, yeah. it will do off-roading it will do mile munching you can take it and hustle it I'm, I'm pretty sure that we had a conversation very recently about how you got overtaken on a track day on an r6 by somebody riding one of these and it was the slower version if i remember yeah. correctly yeah well i'd had a few beers by that point Mark, so yeah i didn't want to necessarily bring that out on youtube not, like but yeah oh, it, a, it was my a first few, track day a few actually. beers today or a few beers after you, you know, just before you got on the track yeah i was riding this r6 i'm thinking i'm doing really well and all of a sudden you know there's yeah, that, there's yeah. the familiar sound of yeah, a boxer yeah, twin yeah. but i mean so you know it, it they didn't really need to make a huge amount of change this bike and in fact in some respects i'm a bit disappointed aesthetically it is identical to the 2017 model year bike um, the only significant differences in the way it looks are the cam covers just to, to uh, signify that it's had an upgrade in this engine size and the fact that it's badged with 1250 so what they've done this year is increase the capacity of the motor which in turn has obviously increased the performance 136 ps which is 134 horsepower 92 foot pound of torque so you know it's one of those bikes where you can put it in a longer gear and you just twist the happy handle yeah. and it'll do what you want it to do so the, uh, there's a couple of reasons around that one obviously the competitors are now running bikes with huge power huge. so that you know there's obviously a, a compulsion to increase the performance and also euro 4 legislation means that if you increase the capacity of a motor it's easier for you to remain within the legislation requirements in terms of emissions in terms of emissions exactly um yeah the the, the, the i think the biggest change is it, uh, and it's been well publicized over the last couple of weeks it, and the bike was officially launched i think a week or two ago and most of the major publications have ridden it um is the variable valve timing in the motor sure. so again a couple of reasons for that low down it's smoother it's more efficient yeah. um it's more frugal and up top when it slides that cam across and it opens the the motor up you've just got a, you know a faster quicker harder performance so it gives you the best of both worlds. That's essentially what it will do. Well, um, maybe, the, maybe a bit of this bike mark is about, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix absolutely. it. Absolutely. And, and every, every time I look at the registration figures that we have in the UK, this bike- between Smashes the two, it. Oh, between uh, the two variants, absolutely kills it. it. it it's, and everyone that I talk to who owns who owned one uh, of these, <laughs> loves it, it, it you, know? you know? I mean, it, for it's those- like a Land It is a Marmite bike though. For, for a Range there's, Rover, there's, there's, there's a kind of standing joke with GS riders. They're all kitted out and they're touring stuff. They've got hard <laughs> yeah. panniers. But you know, the reality is you ride one of these bikes you look at it and think oh my goodness it's a land yacht yeah. you know it's going to be impossible but you know because the engine's mounted low because the weight's all the way down there it's the easiest bike in the in the world to ride it's so so comfortable you can sit i mean i went to spain on mine last year i did three and a half thousand miles in 10 days it didn't miss a beat and never did i feel like oh you know it's going to irritate me it's uncomfortable if i break it just does everything incredibly well and essentially what they've done is they've you know they've just fine-tuned a, a couple of different little things the other, the other sort of big significant change obviously the tft display so sure. you know full digital it's it's excellent in fact it was yeah. it was introduced on the 850 the, the the smaller brother of this bike which came last year um 
LED headlight is now standard. And the hill start. And the hill start, which is, yeah, which is, I mean, you know, I've that's never... A, that's, a gr that's a great thing. I mean, this is a, this is a quarter of a ton machine. Yes. You know, yeah. You know, so, so you're going to get it on a hill now, and anything over five degrees. Five degrees apply of angle. The, yeah. Apply the back brake automatically, and then let it yeah. off. Just it's, like it's a, essentially like it's like if you you know if you drive a modern car, it's like an electronic handbrake with the same the same principle. You just you don't touch the handbrake, you don't touch the brake, you don't touch the lever or the foot brake. You just you know wind the throttle on, release the clutch, and bang off you and, go. And the great thing about BMW, right? You can put all these mod cons on, but with a BMW, you know it's going to work. Y yeah. You know I mean, what? again, and, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm the worst person to talk about BMWs. We need to go and review something else. Yeah, okay. I've, I've, had, I've had one or two of these, and they are exemplary in terms of their re reliability. Um, yeah, there's not an awful lot more I can say about it. This, this is the new HP edition. There are obviously a bunch of different colorways. I'm sure we'll show them in the video yeah. at some point. You've got a new black bike, which is just over there, and then you've got, I think, blue and a gray. So, you know, they, they're trying to cover off all the bases. It's, again, as I say, aesthetically, almost an identical motorcycle, just with a few technical changes that just enhance the whole rider experience. Great, great bike. And great uh, bike. really super important, a nice, yeah. uh, a nice improvement. And I've got a feeling I'm gonna get a call from my BMW dealer pretty soon.